Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 3rd through the 9th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. My cats messed with my pillow. Good vibes only is to the side. Hold on. They always go by here and they take it down. They're like, they don't like good vibes. I don't know. Well, they do now because they're sleeping. Cool. Let's see what you got for us. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the moon. Um, okay, so there may be some things you are unaware of at this moment in time about a situation you're dealing with. Uh, maybe you're not supposed to know these things right now, potentially. Usually that's kind of how it goes. But um, let's see. In the recent past, the death card, the six of swords, the queen of cups. Um kind of walking away from a situation here it looks like it's not going anywhere and it's like okay it's kind of a dead end here i gotta go um somebody got to go for sure i don't know who if it's you i think it's you mm -hmm. i'm not convinced so <clears throat> somebody walked away from a situation it did involve love here but Slowly but surely, somebody potentially ended something here. In the um, current situation, the Chariot, the uh, Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. You're working on something, but you're having a hard time with it, whatever it is. So you're putting effort into something here. But it does seem like it's, uh, at least at this moment in time, it feels like it's, it's kind of a hassle. It's a little hard, whatever this is. Okay. In the immediate future, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. Uh, you're pointing me towards some sort of a partnership. Um, you're kind of losing grasp here. You're kind of... Um, you're also telling me I don't know what to do about it anymore. You know? In the sense of I don't even want to deal with it much anymore. Um, I feel like something is pretty unclear about this partnership at this point in time that you have this strong reaction to it but um <clears throat> let's see let's clarify let me do the moon the two of cups the knight of swords the queen of swords knight of swords queen of swords those are pretty matching energies so there is love in a situation, or love is what these two energies are looking for here. Um, or a sense of stability within that love. Okay, let me see. It feels like, this reading feels like it's it's one of those status. Complicated, it's complicated, you know? It feels like that for some reason. I don't know why. I'm like, why is it so complicated? For the death card, you get the sun, the ace of wands, the nine of swords. See, because this doesn't make sense. Okay, so someone is showing me that for the most part, there's a situation that brings in a lot of happiness, right? Or at least that's what someone is pursuing. Um, <clears throat> they're looking like they can't really get to it, though. They're looking like they're having a little bit of a hard time getting to that energy of happiness and because of that they might decide you know what no it's not gonna happen then i'm just gonna go look someplace else okay fair let's do the six of swords nine of pentacles the emperor the world card yeah this is basically you deciding to take some time for yourself there you know um Maybe you've interacted with some other energies. It doesn't feel, though, like uh, so pressing as that energy of, you know, I've had hundreds of relationships and now I just want to be single for a minute. 
a little bit it leads in that direction, but it doesn't seem, seem so drastic as I just, I'm chasing away love from my life and now I'm just, you know, here I go again on my own kind of a deal. Um, Cause you're, when you do go on your own here in this energy, you're kind of giving me a sense of, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with all of that. I'm not chasing love anymore. I'm not doing any of that anymore. But one of those ones was the final one here. Um, that kind of, kind of pushed you into this energy of let me take care of me it's just gonna be me and me for a while okay i feel like this is more of an indication of uh you looking for love for things like that and couldn't necessarily find it and because of that you kind of took some time for yourself there which okay uh for the queen of cups No. Hmm? No. For the sneeze, but it went. Uh, Queen of Cups, you get the Four of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Five of Wands. That's a little sad, though, because you do want something. This is almost you debating what the hell is going on with love in my life, you know? Um, you're showing me a commitment that has all sorts of... Not a commitment, the energy of commitment that has all sorts of, you know, we're never going to be on the same page or things like that. So it's almost like you kind of establishing what exactly you want or what you're looking for when it comes to especially uh, the energy of love or commitment or both. Um, <clears throat> that energy right there in which you're kind of pulling away from it all, it does make sense to me because it's like, Initially, I see you looking for love outside of yourself. And when you pull your energy back towards you, you start looking for love inside of yourself. And then from that, you attract love, which that's kind of the healthy way of energy kind of being attracted to the same kind of frequency and things like that, you know. So it feels like a, a normal kind of progression to things here, you know. But it does feel conflicting at times because then it's like... Are you creating some sort of beliefs about it? Like commitment means that we're always going to disagree or we're always, or, or I don't know. Do we have to be the exact same so that we never fight? Or, I don't know. There's a lot of that going on in there. So basically what that looks, what that whole energy right there looks to me is something like you determining what you need. And what you want when it comes to that energy of love. You know, what, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel like this is it. Um, but going through quite the steps here to get there. I don't feel like at the end of that you got there in the sense of that enlightenment about it. But um, I feel like, the again, pulling your energy towards you, that was a big achievement. Because uh, over there you just stopped looking outside of yourself. And that's probably going to open the door to a lot of things for you uh let's do the chariot in the current situation the empress the ace of swords the three of pentacles something is up here uh, this looks like a friendship but i feel like it's not that and it's a friendship uh something is up here in regards to someone where something feels perfectly flowing energetically wise towards whoever this is you know if in the past it was a little bit of a struggle you're following the steps you know okay this is what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to fall in love okay we did that check um move in together check um do we last from here do we not do we fight hard enough that we have to split apart or you know check like you checked everything this one is a little bit different that shows up in here in the current situation because it's like everything that you checked in the past doesn't necessarily apply here it's a different kind of check you know uh this is more of a soul to soul kind of a connection from what you're showing me here but they are showing up as in the physical like I don't know, maybe just a friend, maybe, I don't know. But there's more of a natural flow of energy between the two of you instead of having to, you know, go through the check 
list. Let's do the Eight of Pentacles. The Justice card, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Wands. This is that energy where, um, let's say you got a, you got a project to do, right? And um, you're working on it, you're working on it. Yeah, you're not 100% enjoying doing whatever that is, but you have to and you, you're going to get it done. But you know when you're not 100% enjoying something and you're still doing it and you're like, Okay, you know, you'll find something that you like eventually for your own sake uh, in in doing this. But um, there's definitely that type of an energy of, okay, I'm working on this. I'm putting I'm putting this together. Everything's fine here. But eh. so I'm not sure what you're working on here. I feel like it has to do with this energy right here that's showing up next to you. Maybe, maybe that's the drive that pulls you here but there's still a little bit of almost like i'm doing this for you more than for me or something like that let's do the ten of wands the hangman the wheel of fortune the death card what the hell is this i mean I see you taking breaks, you know, when it feels like, okay, it's too much or it's too hard or ugh, I'm not, I'm really not in the mood, like knowing when to stop in here, when to take some breaks and to kind of change things up a bit. Because if you don't, this looks a lot like you're running yourself. If you don't take those breaks, it looks like you're running yourself into some sort of a burnout mode about something. To the point of you'll just give up on it altogether. It doesn't matter who's attached to it and, you know, nothing matters when you get close to that point of uh, the hell with this. Um, I'm not sure. The other thing, the only way I can think of this applying to this other energy that there's that natural flow between the two of you is that somehow whoever this is is involved in whatever it is that you're working on. You know, and I feel like most of the drive you have that you're putting into this comes from this because this person is involved somehow. I don't know how. Um, okay, let me do the nine of wands in the immediate future. The judgment card, the four of swords, the eight of swords. Um, <clears throat> you're very, um, you're, I'm trying to stop you here from driving yourself into that place of burnout because you're definitely heading there. Like right now you're looking like you're recognizing sometimes, okay, I need a break. Okay, I'll take a break. I'm fine. But for some reason, as the energies progress, you're showing me a sense of, kind of like looking at the energy of break and being like what the hell is this who needs a break you know we'll sleep when we die kind of a thing i don't know something like that and you're like okay but slow down there like you completely reject the notion of taking a break here because this is effort you're putting potentially physically mentally emotionally i don't know what kind of an effort this is but it's there it's ongoing and at some point you are going to need some breaks and if you don't recognize that and if you don't take them, again, you're running the risk of uh, just abandoning this altogether. For the uh, Eight of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Moon, the Three of Cups, the Hermit. Yeah, there's an undertone to this tied up to that connection. So it's either whatever it is that you're doing in your mind, you're doing not only for you, but it also includes them somehow in there, at least in the future or something, or you're working directly with whoever this is. There's a, there's a bigger kind of picture at play. You know, like when I look forward, I see all of these energies. Okay, we're putting effort into this. We don't take breaks. We just work, 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 and we're doing this. And then I see that energy right next to you. And I'm like, okay, I see the... Um, the drive where it's coming from, part of it at least, 
And then I, I, I'm being shown a bigger picture to things, which is somehow whatever it is that you're doing right now involves that energy right there, which is another energy outside of you that feels like there's a natural flow to this connection between the two of you. But you're missing the bigger picture sometimes here too. Um, <clears throat> let's do the three of pentacles. In the immediate future, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Well, that's not nice. Huh. Well, it could be the result of the burnout here. Because it's like, okay, so you're working yourself here. You're putting all of your energy, all of your everything into this. And then when you get there, when you reach the destination of whatever it is you're working on, how are you going to feel that satisfaction of, oh, this is what I've been working for? Because you've got no resources anymore to feel. I'm already exhausted just by reading this energy. It's like you get there and that moment that you anticipated for so long that you'll get there and you'll enjoy the hell out of this. You have nothing to enjoy it with. Um, you have to stop and take breaks here from time to time. Um, right now, you're not opposed to that all the time. In the future, it looks like, no, the, the notion of taking a break, it's like, it's so foreign to you. It's, I, no. And then I see you getting to where you're heading with all of this, with all of this energy. And then you got nothing to feel it with. You know, yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's like, it's perfect. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles. I mean, it's it's quite a nice package there. And then this is what you're feeling with. The, the Eight of Cups, nothing. Your heart is like, bah, drained. You know, from an emotional stand, you're drained from a physical. Like, nothing is there with you supporting this. Oh, I feel so good about it. Because you don't, because you're exhausted by the time you get here. Um... So basically, yeah, what all of this is saying is uh, take a break from time to time, you know, because um, yeah, you're, you're heading towards burnout here, um, major one at that. From the universe, as a final advice, you get the magician, the eight of wands, the page of swords. I mean, you're manifesting something here. You definitely have a mission. You definitely have a destination here for whatever you're putting effort into. And it's great. And you're still going to get there. But, you know, it's a matter of choosing. How do you want to get there? Tired as hell? Not having anything to feel it with? Or rested, you know, even if you get two minutes later. But at least you're rested. You're like, you can freaking enjoy that because you have all the resources to, to enjoy it. You'll get there, you'll you'll want a very long nap. Hold on, I need to rest. Mm. Cool, how does it look? I don't know, because I need to sleep. I, I can't even hold my head up. Great, you know, so um, you, you'll get there regardless. You're manifesting it, you're creating it. You're on a mission here, you'll get there. It's a matter of how, you know, so that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.